All right, so I haven't reacted to this video, but Farlet84 did announce na meron silang mga, or they call it the special announcement, meron silang mga plano for the future of Farlet84. Now, ako personally, I haven't played Farlet84 for a while now, pero I'm curious to see kung asa ang direction, no? ano yung direction ng game. So that's why I'm gonna react to this video and... Uh, you know, hear out my, or if you wanna hear out my opinions, kung ano yung nasasabi ko sa, sa decision nila. Um, I don't know if you agree or disagree, so let's see. Let's see, guys. Kung mag-agree ba kayo or disagree ba kayo sa decision nila or sa, sa comment ko about dito. So, here we go. Hey, everyone. Welcome to this special video. I'm Lazy Cass, and I'm here mm -hmm. to share some important Shout out, Lazy Cass. Since its launch, Farlight 84 has gone through several major updates and optimizations. We've mm -hmm. received a lot of love and support from our players, mm -hmm. you guys, and yes, we've heard some critiques too. We're grateful for all of the encouragement and feedback which drives us to keep improving. In this video, mm -hmm. we'll be sharing some significant innovations. One thing that I really like though about Farlight 84, no? at alam naman siguro na ito ng marami, they listen to the community. And it's very rare, sobrang rare na isang, uh, actually I think it's the only battle royale na talagang sobrang active sa community. I think, uh, especially in the Philippines. Yeah, sobrang active nila, they have Q&As, they have, like you know, you can post like your questions, they also have that Discord, may Q&As la sa Discord. They have like uh, a lot of plans, especially sa Philippines, so yun, I, I think what he's saying is really uh, what they're doing ba, what they're doing. Plan to bring to Farlight 84. <clears throat> Join us to dive deep into our vision and see where this game is headed. After analyzing uh -huh. feedback from our community and comparing other Battle Royale titles, we see room for improvement in Farlight 84's playability. Okay. As a hero shooter, players need to master their shooting skills and cleverly combine hero abilities to gain an advantage. Mm -hmm. This involves a deep understanding of hero skills, teamwork, reaction speed, shooting techniques, and tactical thinking. Okay. However, in Farlight 84, we've noticed the synergy between hero characters hasn't fully reached its potential. Looking back at battle records, hero combinations look similar all the time. We also real Hero combinations look similar all the time. Eh, ganun naman talaga, no? Sa isang battle royale, or any shooter game, or any game. Pagdating kasi sa isang game, talagang uulit-ulitin na yan ng mga players na gagamitin, uh, in Farlight 84 to be specific, na magmimeta talaga yung mga tao. Because that's what works. And it, it makes sense that people are using these combination of heroes. So, for example, before we had the uh, uh, Cypher, Phantom... Lucinda, Cypher, Phantom, Lucinda, Ember ata na combo na talagang ginagamit sa, sa tournaments because that's, that's the meta. So yeah, I think yung sinabi niya dito na we noticed a synergy between heroes, uh, hero characters hasn't fully reached it, its potential. I think what he means is, or what they mean is, kailangan, gusto nilang it yeah, no, i-balance eh, lahat siguro ng mga hero na magamit lahat ng mga hero to to change the meta, ganun siguro. And that makes sense. That makes sense. I think evolving on what's currently the meta is is really the main goal of a battle royale. Um because you want to make people, you know, adjust and be excited about changes. That makes the games fresh. So this, this looking mm. back at battle records, hero combinations look similar all the time. We also realize the gunplay experience needs some work. Mm -hmm. So far, Players often choose a fixed set of weapons because most guns feel similar and lack distinct situational uses. Mm -hmm. To address Meta. these issues, we plan to bring some evolutions to Farlight 84 gradually. Mm -hmm. The changes and directions we discussed today aren't final. Okay. We plan to implement these designs gradually over the coming months. Mm -hmm. So the final changes might not exactly match what we're discussing today, but... Okay. So these are just like future plans na gusto nilang implement sa game. We will provide detailed update content before each upcoming version through the What's Next series just like what we're doing in the past few updates. Mm -hmm. Our ultimate goal is to make each game a completely unique adventure for everyone. Now this And also, this is quite a bold move for them na it's bold and yet 
transparent no i think the the word is transparent na talagang they they uploaded a 10 minute video to talk about what's coming next because mostly mostly sa mga battle royale games what they do is they just keep on updating and then tell people what's what's the current update something like that but this move like they 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 discuss like future updates na anong pwedeng mangyari. I think it's a right move to set the expectations of people and for people to know um that there is this goal that they have. No, na may goal sila na ganito yung gagawin nila sa Farlight 84. I think for me it's a good move. Optimizing gunplay in mm-hmm. Farlight 84. With noted player feedback suggesting that the feel of using firearms in the game seems too similar across the board, mm-hmm. prompting us to deeply rethink our current weapon framework. Our game currently features four types of guns, totaling 19 firearms, excluding mm-hmm. MG7 and Rhino. Take assault rifles as an example. Apart from the AK, the recoil and spread of other guns are nearly non-existent. Yep. This makes these guns extremely versatile, effective in both close combat and sniping scenarios. Mm-hmm. However, Rifles. some machine guns haven't been as fortunate. Yep. They lack a strong presence in the game. Designed for quick close-range engagement, their advantages lie in low recoil and high fire rates. But mm-hmm. when assault rifles also exhibit these traits, players seldom opt for submachine guns which offer a lower cost-benefit ratio. Okay, well, to be fair, ang example, ang example nila na potato masadang ang... <laughs> potato masadang magi. But I get their point. I get their point that SMGs are supposed to be stronger in close range than um, ano, rifles. And I think rifles are right now, in its current state, they are doing the same thing as SMGs and they can do close and mid-range. So yeah. This issue extends to the sniper rifles as well. In Farlight 84, we aim for a relatively short time to kill to encourage more intense gunfights. Okay. However, our design of sniper rifles hasn't supported this goal, leading to their underutilization. Instead, most players prefer assault rifles with scopes for most combat situations. Realized in-game weapon usage and found that most players use the Mad Rabbit in the early game and mm-hmm. switch to an M4 for the rest of the match. Yeah, meta. It's not what we intended, as it indicates a lack of gameplay depth and limited player strategies due to the uniformity of gunplay. Moreover, Farlight 84 is cross-platform between PC and mobile. To accommodate mm-hmm. both, we've had to compromise on some high-quality sound effects for impact feedback. Okay. Gun sounds are a crucial part of this feedback, but in Farlight 84, mm-hmm. they've been me. too subtle, often overshadowed by the system announcements. Additionally, yeah. the gunshots lack variety, missing trigger sounds and impactful firing noises. The sound of shell casings hitting the ground is also absent. This has resulted in a less immersive gunplay experience, failing to meet PC standards and still affecting low-end mobile devices. In summary, our goal is to diversify the gunplay experience. The changes in the AK's shooting parameter. Wait, dami niya sinabi, man. He talked about audio. I think what what he talked about was just all about audio. And then he he said na daming gumagamit daw ng M4. Tapos iti-change niya, iti-change nila yung whole gunplay. I mean, in summary, I think what they're saying is, ayaw nilang maging meta yung M4. I think, di ba? Because right now, the, the meta is M4. It seems like, sub, uh, according to what he said, madrabit yung ginagamit ng mga tao tapos gumagamit sila ng F4, M4 for the rest of the game. Ganun din naman. Imagine, nung na-release or nung sumikat yung, yung Firelight 84 when I started creating videos, people are even using double Jupiter. Because it happens, no? It happens. People will use whatever is the meta. Kasi yun yung madaling gamitin, yun yung pinaka-effective, madaling pumatay, ganun. Then imagine yung Jupiter days na dalawang Jupiter, tapos Jupiter was so broken na sobrang laki ng, ng bala. Like you can kill um, players with high accuracy kasi yung Jupiter is very broken. And the audio enhancements of some of the weapons in version 15.1.1 Ah, sa AK and bar. Now, the AK feels more realistic with increased bullet trajectory randomness and a higher okay. recoil cap aiming to provide a more immersive experience. I think it makes sense because it's an AK. sound effects for the AK-77 and bar 95. The mm-hmm. new sounds offer a more realistic soundscape, especially on better equipment mm-hmm. where you experience clearer, more impactful feedback. For Firelight 84's aim assist feature, we're planning to make it more balanced. 
On mobile, we'll use aim assist to reduce the difficulty of getting started. Mm -hmm. Whether you're a mobile, PC, or console player, you'll be able to enjoy the thrill of shooting in the game with a wider variety of firearms to choose from. No more scouring the map just for an M4. Okay, see? <laughs> see, this sabi niya, no more scouring the map just for an M4. So basically, it's a change lang meta. That's the summary of what this is about optimizing gunplay. And I think it makes sense. Again, going back to evolution, for me, it's a good move um, na ganun yung gagawin nila para ma-encourage yung mga tao na gamitin yung iba't ibang klase ng baril. Pero, at the end of the day, may magiging meta pa rin na baril, guys. Okay, hindi yun titigil um, especially if may mga streamers or content creators na gagawa ng like ito yung meta ako, gumagawa ako nun. Uh, not gonna lie, no? Pero, yun naman talaga, if whatever works, whatever gun works, whatever strategy works, yun talaga yung magiging meta. Hero skill changes. Alongside adjusting gunplay, we want to encourage you to put more thoughts on strategy and skill in combat. Okay. To achieve this, we will be tweaking some hero abilities in tandem with our stronger gunplay framework, mm -hmm. aiming to offer a more fun and challenging gameplay. So far, you generally rely on your hero's active skills and occasionally the jetpack. Uh -huh. The jetpack, with its cool aerial maneuvers, offers high mobility. Uh -huh. However, we found that most players entering Farlight 84 weren't utilizing the jetpack effectively. I think the I think the jetpack is what makes Farlight 84 unique from other battle royales, and I've said this before. Ito yung talagang something really unique to Farlight 84 na meron silang jetpack na horizontal and vertical. Now, pros and cons. Yan ang pro. Yan yung, yan yung maganda sa jetpack. Because it makes it unique. It, it's different from other games. Other battle royale games to be specific. Pero ang cons kasi ng jetpack guys, if you're gonna ask me. Farlight 84's jetpack makes the game very competitive, right? It can be in a good way or in a bad way. Now, hindi ko alam yung ratio, pero sa lahat ng mga players ng Farlight 84, ilan lang dyan ang competitive. And I I think mas marami dyan ang mga casual gamers. I think, ah, hindi ako sure. Pero for me, if you are gonna balance the game, hindi pwedeng puro sa pangara para sa mga competitive players lang yung balance mo sa game. You have to also consider yung mga casual players na naglalaro ng game. Kasi, pag sinabi natin casual players, ito yung mga players na hindi competitive. Ito yung mga players na gusto lang nila mag-enjoy ng game. And currently, yung matchmaking ng Farlight 84 is hindi ako believe sa matchmaking nila guys. Sa totoo lang. Kasi if you're gonna compare the matchmaking of Farlight 84 to Valorant, yung Valorant is you can only party up with, for example, gold yung rank, sa, rank mo sa Valorant. Ang pwede mo party dyan is silver and platinum. That's it. So, Farlight 84 kasi, pwede mo ma-party lahat, right? That's the problem. Kasi yung matchmaking nila, kahit na sabihin natin nasa Grandmaster ka, tas yung kasama mo ace, yung lobby mo is magiging ace na. Which is really sad kasi, for example, casual player ka, Grandmaster ka, right? Tas napunta ka sa ace rank, tas yung mga ace rank ko, yung mga batak na mga players competitive is sobrang bilis gumalaw. And you're not enjoying the game anymore kasi casual player ka lang, is Grandmaster ka nga. Pero... Sobrang parang dim, dimo, demonyo na yung kalaban mo. Sobrang bilis na gumalaw. So, I think that's the main problem. And I think what what they should do, no? um, regarding the jetpack, hindi ko pa alam kung nasasabihin ito, pero I think what they should do regarding the, the jetpack and for casual players is, kailangan nila i-balance yung mismong matchmaking nila. Which is, if you are a grandmaster sa rank mo, dapat yung mga mo hindi ganun kabatak. That's, dapat same lang sa rank mo. Right? And then, Siguro yung ranking system nila, kung magiging ace ka man, dapat deserve mo naging ace ka. Like, you have the skills to be an ace player. Alam nyo yun, sa rank mo. Para, pag gusto mo talagang mag-ace, like, it's, it's a rank, kaya nga tinawag siyang ranking eh. Pag gusto mo makuha yung top rank yung ace, you have to work really hard para makuha yung top rank ng ace na yun. Katulad sa Valorant, if you wanna be radiant, it will take you, some people even take like years, 3 years, 4 years, para ma-radiant lang. So, Farlight 84, <laughs> Gusto mong, gusto mong ma-ace, 2 days siguro. <laughs> kung, gusto mong, kung gusto mong maging ace, pwede ka ma- 3 days, siguro 3 days, ace ka na. Laro ko, laro ka lang ng laro. Punta ka lang dun sa Lampton ba yun o? Lampton o? Pero I think that's the point, no? That's the, that's my point uh, pagdating sa sa ganyan. Like when it comes to competitive players versus ca versus casual players, I think kung ano yung rank mo, uh, dapat deserve mo yung rank mo. Hindi yung naging ace ka, 
And then, tama yun, nagpaparang ka lang para ma-ace ka. Kasi, I have nothing against people na ace guys ha, na nag-grind sa lampto na don't get me wrong, okay? Nagagawa nyo kasi yun. The game is not balancing uh, the ranking system. Kaya nagagawa nyo yun. Kaya nakukuha nyo yung rank na yun. And masarap sa feeling na nasa ace ka na round. Pero ang problema dyan is yung matchmaking nila is, is doon ka mapupunta sa mga kalaban na sobrang batak. Right? Ace ka nga, pero mga kalaban mo parang parang ano, parang mga mythical glory na ace. <laughs> so, ang question dyan is mag enjoy ka ba sa ace na rank mo? Or is it much better na grandmaster yung rank mo Grandmaster yung kalaban mo, magkapareho kayo ng skills, maganda yung laban nyo, kahit na matalo ka man or manalo ka man, na-enjoy nyo yung mismong experience, yung immersion ng, ng gunplay nyo dalawa, right? I think that, for me, is better na pag Grandmaster ka, Grandmaster yung kalaban mo. Kaya mahirap, man, mahirap pag super competitive ang isang game, and they don't balance the matchmaking and the ranking, ay, nandun talaga mag uh, sa struggle yung mga tao. And I think for me, guys, Some people are asking kung, kung bakit nag-quit ako sa Firelight. Hindi naman ako nag-quit, no? Hindi ko naman sinabi na nag-quit ako. Nagpahinga lang talaga ako kasi I wasn't enjoying the game anymore. Um, dahil nga, especially nung in-upload ko yung level 200 na cheater, doon talaga ako nawala ng gana, man, na nag-quit ako. Ako kasi pag feeling ko, hindi na ako, nasa-stress na ako sa isang game, guys. Nagpapahinga talaga ako sa game na yun. Kasi na-stress talaga ako sa game na yun, to be honest. Or yun, sa Firelight 84. So, nung nalaman ko na may level 200 cheater, na hindi siya nababan. Pero naban naman siya. Don't get me wrong. Naban siya, at, I think, after 5 days ata. Um, pero my point is, bakit ganun? Bakit may mga nakakalusot na ganun? Nung time na yun, hindi ko nang alam kung sa ngayon. Siguro mag-upload din ako ng Firelight 84, guys, in the coming days. Players already have two active skills to manage. Okay. Adding the jetpacks two movement abilities while managing the skills while also managing to shoot often overwhelms. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, man. Exactly. I I'm glad that they recognize this. Adding the jetpacks two movement avili abilities well, <laughs> abilities while managing the skills while also managing to shoot. Exactly. Ang dami mo nang ang gagawin sa firelight. Yung mga kalaban mo, sobrang competitive pa, sobrang batak pa. Ganun yung mangyayari sa mga casual players. Ay, ako, hindi ako pro player guys. Ha. Hindi, ako maro, hindi ako magaling maglaro. Decent lang ako na player. At tinatry ko din namang mag... Uh, compete Alam mo yun, competitive din kasi ako eh. May dugong competitive, competitive din ako. Pero talagang ano lang. Kung may nakikita lang talaga ako like yung cheater, ganun. Yung mga unfair part ng game. Uh, doon na ako parang nawawala ng gana. Kasi guys, ako guys, no, to be honest, I think Firelight 84 is not balanced para sa akin. Kasi this design kasi sa Firelight 84, it takes a lot of inspiration from Apex Legends. Alam na alam natin yan. Um, for example, yung nilagay nilang skills ni, skill ni Cypher. Yung first skill ni Cypher na teleport. Teleport? Teleport. Yung skill na yun is galing kay Loba of Apex Legends. I-search nyo yan. Ang first skill ni Loba of Apex Legends is, ano, yung teleport. Yun. Yun yung first skill niya. So, maraming skills. For example, si MKR. Yung lahat ng skills ng MKR, that's Valkyrie of Apex Legends. So, ang, what I'm trying to say is, yung pagdating kasi sa, sa management of the, the skills and uh, the, yung sinasabi kong parang di siya balance. Kasi sipin nyo guys, apat yung characters. Apat, right? Apat na ultimate skills. At hindi lang ultimate skills, kundi may mga per skill pa yan. May mga... Yung skills nila, right? First skill ba tawag? Basta first skill tsaka ultimate skill. So, if you're gonna count walong skill. Now, isipin nyo ang isang clashing ng tatlong squad na puro apat na like 4B4B4. 4B4, tas lahat sila nagsiskill. Yun yung, I think the game is really not balanced in that way, man. Promise. Given that it's a battle royale, sobrang hirap niya i-balance eh. It's because parang walang, parang ay hirap niya i-synergize. Um... Pagdating sa clashing, yun din yung reason kung but I'm not a fan of the esports of Firelight 84. I'm really sorry to say that guys kasi the way they spectate sa sa esports sa tournament sa Firelight 84, for me it's very what's the term? It's very cluttered ba? Na it's very parang ang gulo. Alam niyo yun? Yung pag nanonood ako ng esports ng Firelight 84, ang dami kong nakikita men. Hindi ako makapag-focus ng isang player na gusto ko siyang tignan kung paano siya talagang gumalaw. Alam, do you guys agree? <laughs> agree ba kayo doon? For me, it's it's very... Uh, it's, ang gulo talaga, ang gulo. The word is magulo. Doon talaga ako parang ano eh. And I, I, think I, I think I speak for some people, no? Hindi naman siguro lahat, pero... 
I think some people would agree with me na talagang magulo yung apat na format ng Firelight 84. At yun din yung reason kung ba't nagwo-work yung three, three-man squad ng Apex Legends. So, bang gulo na, ah, it's 4B, 4B, 4. Especially sa tournament na may mga limang squad, anim na squad pa rin natira, tapos sobrang liit na ng zone. Sobrang dami mong skills na nakikita. Lalo na yung skill ni Lucinda na... Lucinda, wang. Lucinda na yung ano niya, black hole. Tapos meron pang ulti ni Ember. Tapos meron pang ulti ni Cypher. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, mga kaibigan. I cannot, man. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot, yun. Ramis. It's, it's too much. I think it's too much. And uh, I'm glad that they identify that, that they acknowledge that, na adding the jetpacks to movement abilities while managing the skills, while also, sing, while also managing to shoot is overwhelming. And it's it's really, it's really effing true. It's freaking true, man. It's so true. Especially for new players. Sobrang ano yun. Ang dami kong mga kilala guys, hindi sila talaga nag-enjoy sa Parlet 84 kasi sobrang ano daw. It's... Um, it's too difficult for them. Got on. They end up randomly pressing whatever lights up, confused about what happened after using a skill, uh -huh. combining them all. What they <laughs> they end up randomly pressing whatever lights up. <laughs> Bro, that <laughs> that's so perfect, man. They end up pressing whatever lights up. That's actually perfect, man. That's that's really true. Confused about what happened after using a skill, let alone combining them all and coordinating with other teams. Yeah, exactly, man. Exactly. The jetpacks also happen to indirectly weaken the gunplay experience. Due to its high mobility, we had to compromise on gunplay dynamics from the beginning of Farlight 84's design. Most. Huh? Wait. The jetpack also happened to indirectly weaken the gunplay experience due to its high mobility. Okay. Play experience. Due to its high mobility, we had to compromise on gunplay dynamics from the beginning of Farlight 84's design. We had to compromise on gunplay dynamics from the beginning of Farlight 84's design. Huh. Most guns are crafted with the premise of facing enemies flying around with jetpacks and we had to lower difficulty in weapon handling, advanced prediction, and recoil control skills. Therefore, in our upcoming adjustments, we plan a... Ah, okay. Okay, so what they're saying is, kaya, kaya ginawa nilang parang walang recoil yung most of the guns. It's because... Mahirap nang barilin yung mga naka jetpack which makes sense no. Ang hirap kaya for example you're gonna use AK tas yung kalaban mo naka jetpack ganun no. Especially if it's a magi sobrang likot tas lumilipad-lipad tas yung ano yung pag AK mo na malakas pa yung recoil. So I think initially that's what there's or he's saying na yung design ng mga baril nila is limited or uh, close to nan yung recoil kasi nga may mga jetpack. So to, to ano to like compensate no. Okay. Optimization of hero abilities and the jetpacks. Future battles. Wait, what? In our upcoming adjustments, we plan a comprehensive optimization of hero abilities and the jetpack. A compre comprehensive optimization. Optimization of hero abilities and the jetpacks. Future battles. Future battles will involve more head-on confrontations. Will involve more head-on confrontations, making a deep understanding of hero abilities crucial. With this change, we hope you will find more enjoyment in the seamless integration of skills and firearms, challenging yourselves with higher levels of gameplay. Ano kaya nangyari dito, man? I wonder. I wonder what type of realization na na pumasok sa sa team nila, no? Sa like sa sa dev team or what, whatever team that handles that ano kaya yung nangyari na parang na-realize nila na jetpack is it's not destroying the game but it siguro it it discourages a lot of players to play the game kasi it's too difficult to 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 play the game with a jetpack for me i think yun yun eh kasi nga given na uh, ano marami naman talagang nahihirapan na maglaro sa game dahil sa jetpack so what yung sinasabi niya is he wants or they want na mas ma-focus yung mga players sa gunplay um tapos i-minimize nila or optimize yung hero abilities and jetpack i just hope they don't remove the jetpack cuz it doesn't seem like na i-remove nila yung jetpack siguro they should nerf the jetpack Nerf lang. 
But if they remove the jetpack, man, it's... Oh my God. Sobrang ano na yun. No, I don't think they're removing the jetpack. I don't think they are removing the jetpack. Nerf lang siguro, man. Because jetpack is what makes, again, what makes the game unique. Adding excitement to the map. Uh -huh. from optimizing existing heroes, weapons, and the in-game progression system, we're also working on new, fun gameplay mechanics to the Battle Royale mode in Farlight 84. Uh -huh. Inspired by your feedback, we understand the desire for more exciting and surprising content. Uh -huh. Compared to the wide array of activities and modes in other games, we realize that Farlight 84 currently has a relatively limited number of maps. While what? We realize that Farlight... Compared to the wide array of activities and modes in other games, we realize that Farlight 84 currently has a relatively limited number of maps. Are they adding another map? I mean, if they are gonna add another map, mas lalong tataas yung queue nito, mas lalong mararami yung mga bot. Farlight 84 currently has a relatively limited number of maps. While we've been working on a new map that isn't enough, to bring diversity to the actual gameplay experience. Mm -hmm. So far, the map experience in Farlight 84 has been quite stable, with the ring mm -hmm. closing periodically and players doing the usual, scavenging for supplies and moving to safe zones. Yeah, However, talaga yung battle royale. The stable experience has led to little variation in gameplay from match to match. Uh -huh. Beyond finding resources and opening chests, there haven't been many clear objectives or opportunities for players to employ proactive strategies. We aim to make this experience better. Mm -hmm. The new gameplay feature we're designing will introduce mech bosses into the Battle Royale map spawning at random locations. Huh? Players will need to collaborate to defeat these formidable foes. However, there's a twist. Players can also attack each other, adding a layer of strategy and competition. Once the boss is defeated, you can take control of it, essentially turning it into a giant vehicle. Oh no. No way, man. No. 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 No, 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 no. No. Imagine the thrill of piloting a Mac boss using its abilities to dominate the battlefield. Imagine the thrill of piloting a Mac boss, bro. Are we playing Titanfall, bro? Gundam, hello? Bro, Gundam is coming to town, man. This will make the gameplay more exhilarating, strategic, and full of tactical depth. No, it will make the game... It will break the game, bro. <laughs> no. Man, no! Gameplay more exhilarating strategic. It will break the game! Hello? Hello? Even the previous meta, yung mga infantry. Remember the infantry days? When people are just using infantry to like... Oh my god. Oh my god. Kasi ito yung gagawin nila, yung mga... May, may Gundam na sa game. Oh my god, man. The addition of this new feature will introduce more variables to the battle, enriching the combat experience and making it more exciting for players. Nah, I'm sorry, man. Pero I'm sorry, lazy cast. Pero no, I don't think I don't I don't think it will. Because <laughs> what's gonna happen? No, ang ngayari dito, man. Pagkatapos mapatay ng boss na yun, ta sobrang OP ng boss na yun, na magiging gandam ka na. So, may hirapan na yung whole lobby to like destroy you. Wala, wala na. Wala, where's the fair play in this? That sums up the key areas of evolution for Farlight 84 in the future. We understand that these changes will require some time for you to adapt and adjust, and that's exactly why we're sharing these ideas early on with you. The game is evolving beyond just upgrading shields, engaging in shootouts, or using jetpacks to escape. Yeah, it also involves you fighting a boss and then transform it to a Gundam and destroying everyone. I just hope it's not it's not like too OP na mamatay ra siya ba. Siguro ka, kung kaya lang patayin ng mga tao yun like one squad can destroy the Gundam, that's fine. Pero kung gagawin nilang super OP because it's a boss in the first place, kung magiging boss yan tapos makukuha mo yung yung boss. Oh, GG. <laughs> well, what what why would you play? <laughs> You need to employ more thoughts and strategy 
and you'll encounter more unknown challenges and fun. Also, let me reiterate that these plans and ideas uh. may not fully align with the final mm. updates. But if it does, I don't know. information about the final changes for each respective update when they arrive. To validate these adjustments more swiftly, we're planning to continue to implement updates every month. Mm -hmm. On top of this, our dev team will continue to listen to your feedback and make mm -hmm. timely adjustments. Okay. We hope you'll find more enjoyment Which they do. Which they do. Alongside this evolution. Okay. As always, we welcome your honest feedback to help us make Farlight 84 even further. This is LazyCast mm. signing off, and I'm excited to share more with you in the coming months. Yep. Have a lovely December, and I'll see you again soon. Happy holidays! Happy holidays, LazyCast. Well, they did say na hindi nila talaga i-implement, no? Um, lahat na mga sinabi nila, no? Like, lahat. Hindi naman talaga lahat. So, they they are listening to the community. They are listening to feedback. So, kung namang mangyari, but they're just sharing. And uh, at the end of the day, there's there, this video is about sharing what they plan to do. Um, and not that's not everything that, I mean, not everything in that uh, video will be talagang mangyayari, no? So, alam. Share ko lang din ang reaction ko, guys. Because I think the boss, in my opinion, the boss the Gundam boss na sinabi nila I, mean, I think that's gonna break the game I mean, honestly uh, yeah so I, that depends on kung paano nila yun i-execute but for me it's a no <laughs> thanks for watching this video guys I hope nag enjoy ka don't forget to like and comment kung na yung opinion mo kung disagree ka ba or agree ka ba sa mga sinabi ko but again no at the end of the day Tayo lamang ay nagdi-discussion about sa video na ito, just reacting to it. So don't feel bad kung meron ka mga hindi gusto sa sinabi ko. It's just my opinion. And whatever updates they will have to the game, I hope it's for the better, no? For the game. And uh, yeah, take care guys and uh, enjoy games, gamers.